All right, let's talk about what's going on right now. I'm not going to get into the politics of everything that's going on. You know, that's not really what this channel is about. But one of the things that happens whenever some kind of a world event happens, whether it's a war or it's a natural disaster or any any kind of issue, people try to exploit the headlines. But what I want to show you is a couple of sites that I go to to kind of avoid these kinds of things and gives you more information from a trusted source that you can that you know is the right that they're going to steer you the right way because sometimes it gets very confusing you don't know what to believe after a while twitter and social media is really not one of them um, they're not good sources one thing you got to do is look at the sources whenever people are saying stuff on facebook or twitter or or even youtube like you have to consider the source if they're getting their sources from an from a a large news organization, right? You've got to always do your own research with that. Critical thinking and critical reading, right? That means looking at the source. Consider the source. The source matters on where these they're getting their information from. What you want to do is also look at multiple sources. Don't just go to one source. That's the main thing. Don't go to one source when you're looking at different kinds of phishing or cybersecurity attacks or new cyber threats that are exploiting things like the Russian Ukraine event or that's exploiting things like um, a disaster that hit like an earthquake or something like that. People are always going to exploit these things. And I'm just going to give you a couple sources that I go to that that will pinpoint some known vulnerabilities that you should know about. One of those is CISA.gov site. They have units that are very good at what they do and they've they've earned their spot here on this site. Where do you get inf where can you get trusted information on the most current thing going on, like say with what's going on with malware that's exploiting the Ukraine and, and Russia situation. From this site right here, they're just putting out alerts. They crank out alerts like crazy, right? And you want to go to a site like this. So this is telling you about what's going on right now, real time with this attack. It's breaking down the, the IOCs on this thing, the threat vectors, how their best practices, how you can defend yourself, what it's attacking, all kinds of stuff. And this is specifically targeting Ukraine. This is great information. You'll see this site tied into F FBI websites, DOD websites, Department of Homeland Security. All the different go government organizations will use this site as a main resource. So that's why they have to get their information right. Another great source one I use every probably every day is the cve.mitre.org and these are just cves like i have to come back here often to look at different vulnerabilities that are in different organizations that i'll that i'll do assessments on this is just a, one of the most magnificent most comprehensive databases of threats that you're going to find on the internet another place you can go to if you don't trust government sites and maybe you're not in the government you happen to be you know you're in the civilian world you can go to sans but this is a really great site but it's talking about different attacks that are happening cybercrime all over the world really so this is a really good site for for good news 